Hey everybody, welcome back to our Let's Play of Hotline Miami. This is part 3. We'll be doing chapter 2 today. This is going to get really confusing having all these different parts and chapters that are not going to line up. So as the levels get harder, we might actually take longer than 15 minutes to finish a level. Some of them might end up taking half an hour to 40 minutes or so. If you, you keep dying over and over, it sucks. But we'll see what happens. So level 2 today, called Overdose. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Recklessness is rewarded. Yeah, no shit. Sometimes if you get the upper hand on guys, uh, you get an extra second or two of reaction time. It's almost like they're just watching you brutally murder their mates and they can't believe it's happening. So, we're gonna go with Lethal Doors. I'm a big fan of Lethal Doors. Let's case to join a little. Ever since seeing this movie called Ronan with uh, Robert De Niro, there's this great scene where he cases a joint at the start before going inside, really demonstrating his uh, eye for safety and wanting to know how to escape a place if he has to. Kind of makes me want to do it when I'm playing games as well, it's cool. Never go into a place you don't know how to escape from, right? Oh shit. Ah! Ah! It's all coming apart on the first try, Ah, Okay. Let's try and do that a bit better. Okay, actually killed that guy, that helps. Okay. It's two down, we'll see how we go with the next one. Have a look around. It's kind of crazy how the background changes colour. It's always fading from one colour to another. Everything kind of wobbles a bit as you walk as well. Oh, look out. Totally fucking brain that guy. Look oh. All the blood he had came out the top of him just then. What are you going to do? Oh, 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 oh. Didn't have to finish him. Uh, see, most of those guys never saw it coming. Now, are you asking yourself who these people are? Or uh, is it just a game and it doesn't matter? Try not to get killed, we'll have a look around. Okay. Oh, it feels like the game's lagging a little bit. Getting a bit of slowdown when there's a guy, a bunch of guys walking around on screen. Oh, neat. Pick up this guy's knife, see what we can do with the knife. Oh, even better, a silenced pistol. Oh. Now these yellow walls here, you can shoot through them. So, uh, this guy here is never going to see it coming. And he took me three fucking shots. God damn. Oh, there's a fucking army of guys walking around this place. Got no idea their mates are getting slaughtered next door. Lethal doors! Too easy. This game's got brilliant use of colour. Look at how decorated this, this joint is. Whoa, looks like they've been torturing someone there where the cursor is. Look out. So, uh, what do you reckon? Are we a bad guy killing more bad guys? What's the score here? Whoa, I see the boiling water on the stove there. If we didn't have a silenced pistol, we could go pick that up and, uh, you can go tip it on a guy and watch him squirm as he dies of being boiled. It's exactly what I was talking about with this game being super violent. I mean, these guys are all getting killed one way or another, but, uh, Man, splashing a guy in the face with a couple of liters of boiling water, god, that is fucking brutal. God, I don't know how I'm going to come at this. I'll try and kill a couple of them through the wall. Uh oh, here they come. Yes, chapter clear, look at that! Oh, 
All in a row, they come running at me like lemmings. You know, that always happens in these action movies. No matter how many times a guy will run around or a bunch of enemies and the hero busts in and kills like 17 of them in a row and the 18th guy always gets up and goes, nah, I can take him. There's a brilliant subversion of that in uh, Iron Man 3. Now, it's not spoiling anything too crazy, but uh, there's a fucking hilarious bit near towards the end of the film where uh, Tony Stark is owning a bunch of guys with his gadgets and his Iron Man glove. And right before he can uh, pwn the last guy, he just surrenders and goes, Nah, <laughs> I'm out. I just watched you caned all these other guys. I got nothing. So we'll see how we did. Oh, looking pretty average. Only a little bit over what was required. A few door slams. Ah, oh, C minus. God, it's terrible. Playstyle combo trainee. Oh, where? Wow. Getting put down by the game. How terrible is that? All right, going to the VHS store. <laughs> Love that. We'll go home and we'll rent a movie after all that. <laughs> Good to see you too, man. You fucking work at every shop I go to. You cook me pizza, give me videotapes. Oh yeah, the massacre. Love that. Huh. <laughs> oh, did they now? Oh, see, look at that. Free pizza, free movie. <laughs> I'll pick up my video. <laughs> well, all in all, not too bad. Only a couple of attempts on that level. Not bad. And of course, back in my apartment. See, I want to play the Nintendo. Come on. Ah. No games within games in this one. Check my messages. Ah, hi Kate. It was Thomas last time, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, so what? A couple of days later maybe? Get my next uh, job? I mean, it's all just jobs, right? Career in crime. What are you going to do? Alright, well, might leave it there for now. We'll start the third chapter next time. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.